take a look around. You're now on your way to see one of the green power stations of tomorrow, in a drone. You see, for us living in Denmark, the future's not as far away as you might think. Everthur Power Station, just outside of Copenhagen, is one of our power stations capable of supplying both power and heat to the Danes. Over the past 10 years, we've reduced coal consumption at our power stations by as much as 73%. This is one of the reasons why we're responsible for over half of Denmark's total reduction in CO2 emissions. But we don't stop here. We've now cracked the code of how to make our power stations 100% coal-free by 2023. So what do we use instead of coal? Because we still need power and heating, and we can't make do with wind turbines and solar cells, because the wind isn't always blowing and the sun isn't always shining. Look down. The cargo hold is full of wood pellets, which is a great replacement for coal. Wood pellets are a green fuel which is primarily made from wood waste from forestry and sawmills. Wood waste is either sawdust or the parts of the tree that can't be used for furniture, floorboards and the like. In the past, wood waste would typically be left in the woods to decompose. Now we use the wood to produce green electricity and heat. The wood pellets we use come from sustainable forestry. This means that when trees are felled, new ones are planted. This way we ensure that there are always new trees to absorb the CO2 we emit when we burn the wood pellets. You're now at the other end of the power plant. Here the straw is arriving by truck because we also use straw at the power station to produce green electricity and heat. Straw was once just a residual product that farmers burned in the field. Now, it's being gathered in bales and taken to the power station. Each truck carries approximately 14 tons of straw. If you turn around now, you can see the bales of straw being transported into the power station for burning. In front of you, you can see the bottom of the large combustion chamber. The fire in the combustion chamber is approximately 600 degrees Celsius, so it's important to wear protective clothing. And even when wearing the suit, you can only look at the flames through a tiny slot. The straw and the wood pellets are ground in the same way as coffee beans before they're blown into the giant fireball in the heart of the power station. With our liquid-cooled camera, you can get inside the chamber. Look, what you're seeing is only a small part of the fireball. The fireball is in fact 42 meters high and the center of the fireball is approximately 1200 degrees Celsius. Take a look up. We're approaching the end of our journey and it seems only fitting that you get to leave Avedua Power Station the same way as the smoke from the wood pellets and straw. The stacks of Avedua Power Station are 150 meters tall. This corresponds to one and a half times the height of Big Ben in London. Before the smoke reaches the outside, it must pass through several different filters. This means that when the smoke leaves the stack, it's almost pure vapor. Right now, you're standing at the top of the green power station of tomorrow. If you turn around, you can see that the walls inside the stacks are nothing but white. The smoke we emit is in fact 600 times cleaner than the smoke you know from a standard fireplace. The sun is setting in the horizon and on land, Copenhagen is about to turn on its lights. Before I stop talking and leave you to enjoy the view, I just want to thank you on behalf of Denmark's largest producer of green energy for taking your time to see the future from our perspective. Thank you and goodbye.